Hey you welcome. If you use any AI tool or model like ChatGPT, Cloud and the likes, by now you should know to get high quality output or result that meets your expectation, you definitely need to input a well-crafted prompt. For example, look at this uh, prompt here and also look at this prompt. Now these are two prompts for the same tax but you can clearly see the prompt that will give the best output and this is what I want to show you in this video. The truth is not everyone is a prompt engineer or is willing to learn prompt engineering. So what can I do about this as an AI evangelist advocating for the adoption of AI? So I decided to make GPTR public. So GPTR is not a new AI assistant. Initially, I actually created GPTR for my personal use. But then something happened recently. I got an email. The email was from OpenAI. Someone left a review of GPTR. Th that is what you are seeing on the screen right now. Then I remembered, oh, I actually made the GPTR public when GPT store was introduced. So I just thought of why not just creating um, a dedicated video to show more people because I've just only talked about GPTR in some exclusive live sessions or some of my videos. So I decided to just create this for uh, other people to have access to GPTR. So in marketing, we say content is king, but then in the world of AI, context is king. So provision of context makes it possible to get output that are not generic but tailored to your need. So you can have like 20 people using the same uh, model, the same AI tool for the same tax. But then what will differentiate or distinguish my own output from the other 20 people or 19 people is the context that I provided. Now the reason I'm talking about context is there are so many other tools out there that are similar to GPTR, but then the difference here is GPTR uh, engages with you as the user, gets the details it needs to help you craft your prompt, and then outlines a step by step process to help you achieve your tags before crafting your prompt. Anyways, you'll see what it can do. So, let's say we are building an email list. So, we want to use an ebook as our lead magnet to promote the list. If you want to access GPTR, all you need to do is go to the ChatGPT GPT store. So you should have a GPT account already. Then you see this explore GPTs or just go to chargpt.com forward slash GPTs. Once you are there, just type GPTR. GPTR by Delegate Samuel, I created it. So just select it or you can go to my website at delegatesamuel.com forward slash GPTR. So these are like theory AI assistant that I've created. I've created videos on Meta Ads Personal Assistant and Ecom Copycraft. So most of the use cases I'll be sharing in this video will not be marketing inclined, kind of, because I already have AI assistant that can help you with most of your marketing needs. But of course, you can use it for anything, like anything, data analysis, marketing, creative writing, even programming. Yeah, programming, software development, just anything, guys. You will see what I'm saying. So this is GPTR. Just go to adelicassignment.com forward slash GPTR. Okay, so let's get started. So you click on start chat. It asks you a series of questions, four questions. Now, this is to help the model better understand tags you want it to help you with. So I will say this first question describe the tags and GPTR will try to identify the key objectives, the scope and understand the context and other requirements that is needed to accomplish the tags. Now the second question, it will key you to the uh, next question, right? So the second question is to specify any variable. Now variable is not static, right? So the variable can be anything depending on the tax you have at hand. Now, for example, let's say I want to create an application to help me solve. Now, the variable you might specify in the next question 
could be use python programming language so it's just like something specific to the tags you have identified above you can see this helps you adapt the prompt to your need okay so here it says um you can specify the tone of the ebook key topics to cover uh desired length this is optional but providing specifics can help fight on the prompt so if you do not like you do not have an idea of variables just tell it none it's better you provide so that it can give you more tailored uh, response for 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 this i would say the tone should be relatable because this is for gen z's right and easy to understand avoiding financial jargon i purposely did not include the topics here but then if you have topics to cover you can include but i want you to come up with the topics for me charity is trained on a model that is not currently up to date so it needs to access the web or the internet to fetch latest or up-to-date info so depending on the tags you need it for for this use case i'll say no now listen you could have just said yes but i'll show you another example with yes so for example let's say uh you need to access the internet to um get some information or you need to access a website to extract some information that will then be analyzed and the insight will be used in the prompt then you can say yes how that makes sense so for example the current stock price now the fourth question and the last question here is asking do you have any input available that should be incorporated for example an outline notes or any key ideas that you would like so i'll say no this is also optional so question two and four are optional now let me explain something this fourth question is where you specify uh let's say you have data set as i've said depending on what you are trying to do so if you have data set if you have files if you have spreadsheet pdf if you have uh, materials or existing data or uh content it could be text any kind of content that can be referenced then this is the time you specify okay yes i have this 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 so it can include it in the prompt it will generate for you don't worry i'll share more examples after i have done that then it will process all of the info now this might look like a long process right but it is not i'm just trying to explain and again this is very very important if you do not just want any kind of output you want something solid of high quality and taste then yeah you need to go through uh these steps now you can see the process tone and style specified corner structure break down the ebook um into key sections such as important budgeting how to create budget now it already structured the content what counts ensure the content covers 3000 words now it will ask you should i proceed i'll just say proceed there is nothing much to say and then it will craft uh the prompt in a code block can you see a well detailed prompt now look at you can use this prompt to generate the content for your ebook if you would like to make adjustment feel free now if you are done you can just tell it to execute the prompt i want to show you more examples so that is one example if you want to initiate another prompt just use this keyword or command new tax or just open a new uh, chat conversation now let's say i want to create a pitch deck and of course you want to put in effort so as to win the investor over so something like this you make sure you do it properly the right way so for example let's say i have a tech startup called aria an ai driven solution that provides companionship for old people that are lonely <laughs> this is not real but let's see probably i'll just create something like this followed by it asking me to provide the variables okay the tone should be professional and visionary we'll say yes for this to help us fetch some data noted since recent information is required the web browsing tool will be used to access up-to-date data during the tax now the fourth question i'll just say i have financial projections 
and a business plan that should be included in the page deck if you do not have just say no now it is outlining the process tone and style content structure recent information incorporate input should i proceed yes proceed now look at how detailed the prompt is would you have ever thought of writing a prompt as detailed as this let's execute this particular prompt so let's paste and uh, let's see what happens now it is browsing through the web because we have stated that it should browse through the web now look at this last line here for slide 2 and 4 use the web browsing tool to retrieve recent market statistics and trends on ai driven solutions for elderly care so you can see slide 1 title problem statement the solution market opportunity technology overview business model guys and we have our page deck ready and available and it contains everything the page deck should have like everything inside look at this place inside charts showing revenue forecast projected operating costs because remember i stated as one of the inputs available i said we have uh, the revenue forecast already available if not you can tell it you have none available i hope you understand why gbtr is such a useful tool normally you would have just say okay create a page deck to present to potential investors so let's see what it should do now look at the difference the problem loneliness in the elderly one in three elderly people experience loneliness which negatively impacts their mental and physical health one in theory there is no report to back it up yeah compared to this we have a reference so when you are pitching you can give a reference that okay according to who approximately one in four older adults experience social isolation so you can see the difference right limited mobility now this large some form of context but this one does not so i'm just trying to show you that they are different you cannot compare the result you get from this to the other one okay let's try one more example now let's look for something more complex we'll be doing an analysis so for example let's say you have um, a website a blog right and you are trying to understand your traffic your user engagement and all of that it can be overwhelming because you don't just know what the metrics are saying right so it asks me to provide variables are there any variables you'd like so i'm telling it the metrics um just say no not necessary now for the input i have access to google analytics we have a spreadsheet of uh, articles categorized by type with their corresponding engagement metric here is the thing i've seen so many posts people saying they don't understand their google analytics uh metrics follow this prompt and you'll be good okay i'll just say then i'll say proceed and here is the generative prompt for analyzing our website traffic and user engagement you can see so all you need to do is copy this upload the data from your google analytics and also uh, the excel or spreadsheet where you have your web pages right just upload everything and copy paste this prompt and you get something good and you get to understand uh, your analytics so you can make data driven decisions look at the uh, prompt here you are target analyzing the web traffic and user engagement on a digital news platform to identify which types of blah 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 the goal is to set of instruction data source can you see then we have the key metrics we have uh, the content analysis we have the deliverables look at provide a detailed report summarizing the key findings of the analysis highlight actionable insight that can be used to refine so you are not just analyzing you are getting a report you are also getting insight that you can implement include visualization yeah chargeability cloud all of these tools can now perform visualization 
uh, final recommendation based on the analysis offer recommendations on how to adjust the content strategy to improve reader engagement and retention so i'm just showing you all of these to tell you gbtr can craft prompt so far it is a prompt you want to use in an ai tool it can craft it even if you are a programmer it will work for you i don't care whatever thing you want to use it for even for image generation it will also do that image prompt it can help you craft image prompt like it is limitless so far you can provide the input that it requested okay so i hope um you got value from this particular video if yes give the thumbs up like it share with your community share with people that are struggling with prompting and also drop a comment please guys drop a comment i would appreciate your comment and if you are yet to join the ai tribe i would advise you go to adelicasimon.com forward slash ai dash tribe that is where you get the latest in the world of ai and also the latest tutorial i publish on ai ai tools ai plugins like everything ai that is where you get it okay so um that'll be all for now and i'll see my next video bye for now